Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another mukbang video. Today we're going to be having Puerto Rican food. I don't think I've ever had Puerto Rican food on my channel, but we're going to do it today. I think I've had Cuban food, but not Puerto Rican, perhaps, I don't know. But if I haven't, it probably hasn't been for a while, so let's do it today. Let me show you guys what I got, okay? This is literally my favorite Puerto Rican spot ever, 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 ever. Uh, it's called Boricuan, and it's on Addison by Irving, close to Irving. I know it's on Addison, close to Irving Park. If you're from Chicago, you guys know. It is kind of like in front of like the bowling ring. So if you guys are from Chicago, you guys will know, but it's like so good. I got a cola champagne to drink. And then I also had to grab a Malta. It's so good. Like I can't describe the flavor but it's just so good, you know? And then for food, I got, I'm just gonna open up stuff. So these are pastelillos and basically they're filled with ground beef and potatoes and like their seasoning. They're so good, so, so good. So I'm just gonna like put them on my plate here. And then right here, we have tostones, and these are so, so good. They put like this special garlic seasoning on it that just tastes so good. So delicious. And then here, my favorite, very, very favorite part, which is the jibarito. you guys in a close of what a hibarito looks like it's basically a plantain sandwich and uh it's plantain lettuce mayo tomato cheese steak and i think that's it and then they put a little bit of the garlic seasoning on top it's so good guys like it's so delicious literally the best hibarito I know we have jibaritos y mas and like other jibarito spots out here, but this one just hits different. And then I ordered a flan on the side so we can have four dessert. So, oh, and then of course, guys, like I can't forget the arroz con andules. Let me show you. Arroz con andules, guys. here bam that's that's a plate look at that so gorgeous okay I feel like I should bring you guys a little closer there we go now the cola champagne Again, I can't describe the flavor, but it's so good. All right, first I'm gonna go in with the pastelillo. So good. So good. And now we're gonna try the arroz con andules. With the tostón, it's fried plantain.
Den smager så godt. So tomorrow is Thanksgiving. What are you guys gonna do? Are you celebrating with friends, family, uh, or by yourself? If you are spending Thanksgiving by yourself, save this video for Thanksgiving so that we can have dinner together, if that helps. Um, so I want to put it out here too today so that um, if anybody's spending like Thanksgiving alone, I mean I did last year, you guys can throw on this video and we can have Thanksgiving together. Now, the best part. I feel like I keep saying that. It's what it looks like inside. It's literally the best bite ever. Mm. So good. So tomorrow, for Thanksgiving, um, I'm going to go spend it with my sister-in-law and her family. Uh, it's going to be so fun. It's always so fun with them. We're fine. So yeah, tomorrow, I'm gonna go spend it with my sister-in-law and her family. I'm probably gonna go sleep over over there because like they're really far. So probably just spend the night over there. Um, I am gonna make um, my Alfredo pasta, the one that I showed in a mukbang before. So I'm gonna vlog how I make it because I haven't like made it and I know I got a lot of requests to show like the recipe of how I make it. So if you guys are interested, how I made that pasta. I'm gonna film that tomorrow when I make it and then it'll be out in a vlog. So just, I don't know, be on the lookout for that. Arroz con mandule. I made it once before, and it came out so good. But I never made it again. It's so good. If you guys are cooking anything, what are you guys cooking? Let me know what you guys are cooking. Mm. I already put my Christmas decorations up. Have you? 
I put up my Christmas tree. I've got some decorations on my table. I put everything I had, you know, from last year. And no regrets, so don't come for me. <laughs> don't come for me, okay? Because <laughs> I know there's a lot of people that are like, oh my god, like, no, why would you put your tree up, blah, blah, blah. Well, well, because we want to. <laughs> we want to for us who have already put up our trees and stuff. But, like, basically, like, Christmas... Christmas holidays makes me super happy. It just puts me in a really, really good mood. So I put all my stuff up, even if it's like early, who cares, do you? Don't let the naysayers tell you no, just because they have their reasons. You got your reasons, so why shouldn't they be valid if their reasons to not put it up are valid? You know what I'm saying? So if you guys put your Christmas trees up already, y'all are the crew. <laughs> and if you guys haven't, it's like, okay. Um, but like for me, it just like makes me so happy and like I've had like the seasons change blues I guess you could call So like seeing my Christmas holidays decorations up like makes me feel super happy. So It works for me It's a little dry, it's a little dry, but still good. Okay, so a question for my Puerto Rican people watching. I know these they used to make these in like an orange color like the flower or um i think it's flower i'm not sure what it is but the this right here used to be orange but now i've noticed that they all come in like a lighter color but the color of these used to be orange so is there like a, a specific reason why now they're all in this color i don't know i thought me because like at first i i was like oh well me, this restaurant's doing it like that but like i've noticed that like all places and restaurants have gotten like the light lighter ones now. I mean, the, the taste makes doesn't make a difference, but mentally for me it does. <laughs> like I, I like looking at them look orange, but don't get me wrong, they're still super good. Still super good. I know I'm not talking much, guys. This is basically just a eat with me. You know what I would love? I would love to get my best friend Nancy in one of these videos with you guys. I'm gonna like hit her up and be like, hey, I know we always have a fun time. So Nancy is Natalie's sister, um, which I showed Natalie recently in my videos, especially like that one when we went to the cemetery. That's Natalie. So her sister is Nancy and like funny story, like we're all like best friends. So. Um, yeah, like, I would, like, love to get, get her on here and, like, get her a story because, like, first, me and Nancy met first, and then we became super best friends and stuff like that, so, um, then I met Natalie through Nancy, obviously, because they're sisters, and then we all just became, like, really good friends, so every time we get together, it's, like, always a really good, fun time, so I know, like, we live very busy lives and stuff, but, um, pretty sure we can make a day where we can get together and like film a mukbang video. I think it'd be so fun. Like we always have so much fun. Huh. Mm. That'd be really nice. She 
She did text me the other day. I'm gonna open up the mata. And she said she wanted to hang out. Oh, the mata has this, but this one, it like just unscrews. So you don't need like an a can opener. Cheers. Oh my God, I love this stuff. So good. It's not beer. It's not alcohol or anything like that. It's basically just like another soda. But it just, it tastes so good. It's like, I don't, I can't describe the flavor, guys. I just can't. I just know that it's so good. But yeah, um, I didn't really want to be so chatty in this video because I figured some people would watch it for Thanksgiving and we would just like sit down and have like Thanksgiving dinner together. Friendsgiving. Go ahead and link me down in the description box below. Um, what you guys are doing for Thanksgiving? Let's talk. Or if you're at Thanksgiving and you're super bored and you clicked on my video, <laughs> let's chat. I might be bored too. Who knows? Have you guys done Christmas shopping yet? Were you planning to buy something for this year? Like, is there a special someone? Your kids? Um, your husband? Your wife? Girlfriend? Boyfriend? Brother? Sister? And Valerie gave me a whole list. A whole checklist of things that she like wants for Christmas a checklist all right I've never received a checklist she gave me and oh, and she airdropped it to me She literally airdropped it to me. You know what I should have done? I should have grabbed my silverware because these little forks just don't be doing it for me. Like they don't hold enough. And they're so like cheap that they easily bend. It's so good. Oh my god. Oh, they put crack in there or something? It's just so good. Let's get to the fun stuff. I'm gonna put that to the side. And I'm gonna dig into my flan. I've never had their flan before. But I figure since it's, you know, Thanksgiving time, we would have a piece of dessert to end our dinner with. Okay. Use a spoon. It smells really good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Look.
I'm not huge on desserts, but when it comes to my desserts, I'm very specific about what kind of dessert I like to begin with. Um, like, it, like if it's cake, it has to be tres leches. And if it's flan, obviously it has to be flan, but like not everybody makes a really good flan. Like I've tasted flan from other places and they're just not it. They're just not it. But this one, I've never had it and it's very, very good. Like the texture is really good. It's a little bit stiffer than um, I'm used to, but that's okay. It's like so super good. Super, super good. Like I don't like chocolate cakes or cupcakes. I'm just not like into velvet cake. I'm just not into stuff like that. So yeah, like if I grab a piece of chocolate cake, it has to be like like a brownie type of cake. Um, if you guys ever gone to Portillo's, you guys know their chocolate cake. It's kind of like brownie fluffy like the texture is brownie and I'll have like a very little slice of that with like chocolate I mean um, milk but I just can't have like a legit piece of chocolate and just like enjoy it like I just can't so yeah when I have dessert it has to or cheesecake but it has to be plain cheesecake or cheesecake with um the strawberry syrup and very little bit of strawberry syrup like it can be a lot I don't know, like is anybody else like that? Like not crazy for desserts and very specific for their desserts. Um, I won't, I won't really reach for a dessert. I'm more savory than a sweets person. So like this type of food is my thing and dessert is kind of like, um, all right, I'm feeling it today or not. My sister-in-law makes a really, really good choco flan. And basically it's flan on the bottom. And on the top, it's uh, like a brownie cake layer. And just the combo of both are so good because it comes out so moist and uh, like not, it's not even like too sweet because I don't like desserts that are too sweet. Um, but it's not like, it's not too sweet and it's like, fluffy and good and the texture is just like it's just all a thing and I've asked her to make it for years now for many years and she hasn't got came around with it but I'm still hoping and praying that one of these days I'm gonna get my choco flan from her I'm pretty sure I can make it I'm pretty sure it's not hard to do which was which is basically what I've been trying to do lately is like really learn how to how to do things for myself so instead of like going out and buying bread all the time to make like Valerie's sandwiches for lunch. I actually brought bought ingredients to make my own bread so that I can make her like make a loaf for the week and then make her sandwiches from that instead of buying all the time. So I've just been like doing things like that to like be more essential I guess or like just have the knowledge of how to do things on my own. Cooking wise, cooking wise, and you know, like I've always been like that. Uh, if I could learn how to do it myself, I'll do it. Uh, and I feel like being here at home lately has like really helped me embrace that and just like you know, get to making different things and cooking and whatnot. And yeah, like so that, yeah, that's what I'm planning to do is just make my own bread and whatnot. So I'm pretty sure that when it comes to like flan and like choco flan, I'm pretty sure I can do it. I literally just need the mold, um, which can easily be purchased on Amazon or like wherever. But like basically that's it. But it comes out so good. And it has to be that like brownie bread or brownie cake mix. I don't know. It just comes out so good. I just know that. that. But yeah, guys, I am so full. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if it's Thanksgiving I hope that you guys are having a great and beautiful Thanksgiving with me and yeah I hope that everyone has a great Thanksgiving 
um, on whatever day you guys are watching this. And yeah, guys, I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.